to my channel so today I have another video for you guys and it is another makeup tutorial and you can probably guess by the title it is a spring makeup tutorial and I'm so excited because spring is finally here all the flowers are blooming everything's so beautiful everything's getting warmer and I'm just so excited uh, the only thing that really bumps me out is my allergies I'm allergic to pollen so um, I do have a bit of teary red eyes and just sneezing everywhere but never mind Mind that I do love the flowers and how everything looks you can just see trees blooming purple flowers and it's just so pretty ah, I love it <laughs> but yeah I'm just going to stop blabbering about spring and let's just go ahead and get started with this tutorial it is a spring tutorial spring makeup tutorial and I wanted to make it really peachy and glowy and just quite monochromatic at first I thought I was just only going to do peachy eyes but then I decided to make everything kind of peachy I don't know peachy goddessy type I don't know <laughs> um, but this is how it came out and I really love how it looks I mean it looks really gorgeous and glowy and yeah give it a thumbs up if you like kind of these monochromatic looks more natural and I'll do more of those and yeah I'm just going to stop blabbering and go ahead and get started okay so I've already moisturized my face and moisturized my lips and now I'm going to start with my face to prime my face, I'm going to use the Guerlain Materie Pearl Primer and the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. I'm going to put this one on my T-zone and I'm going to put this one all over my face. I just use one pump of this and then just concentrate it on the high points of my face. Now I'm going to prime my face with my smoothing primer. Now I do have quite a bit of texture right here and I broke out right on my eyebrow so I'm just going to apply it here on my forehead, my nose, my cheeks, and here. For foundation, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Sick Foundation and it's in the shade 117 or Y225. And to apply, I'm going to use the Real Techniques Foundation Brush. I'm just going to grab my brush and the foundation and just apply it onto my brush quickly. And now I'm going to apply it on my face. And to buff it up, I'm going to use my beauty sponge. Now directly from the stick, I'm going to apply a little bit here and here. Then blend it out. Now for concealer, I'm going to use, as always, my Tarte Maracuja Cleases Concealer and then my Naked Skin Concealer. Now I swear this concealer is so full coverage and it always saves me when I look like a troll. <laughs> Now I'm going in with my Naked Skin Concealer and highlighting all my face. Now this is the finished makeup look guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> no, I need to blend this out, I look like a chicken. Next, I'm going to use my Real Colors Stay Smooth Longwear Finishing Powder with my Artiste brush. And this is the 53 Highlighting Brush. I'll link it down below if you like this brush and want to purchase it. I bought it back in Australia, so if you're from Australia, I got it over there. And I'm going to set everywhere I put my concealer. To set my small lines, because I'm a happy bitch. Hmm. My nose forehead and my under eyes next I'm going to 
to bronze my face with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and my fluffy powder brush. Just going to dust it and then place it on my cheeks and on my forehead, giving me a nice bronzer helmet. Yay! For blush, I'm going to use the MAC Sheer Tone Blush in the shade Peaches and I'm going to use my Dual Fiber Brush. Just swiping it upwards like this. A nice peachy color for spring. For highlight, I'm going to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop and my Real Techniques Setting Brush and I'm just going to highlight my whole face. to highlight the tip of my nose and right here also my cupid's bow then with the australis makeup finishing spritz i'm going to spritz my face and set all the powders down so it don't look powdery and then my face looks dewy <laughs> i forgot to contour Okay, so for contour, I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Kit and two angled brushes, one's for the eyes and one's actually for the face. This one I'm going to use for my nose and this one I'm going to use for my face. And I'm going to go in with Fawn, which is this shade right here. And then really lightly going to draw two lines right here. Now for my eyebrows, I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade 08 Black and the ABH Clear Brow Gel. I'm going to brush my eyebrows upwards with my spoolie. Using the Clear Brow Gel, I'm going to push them upwards so I know where they will stand. And then I'm going to just do light hair-like strokes and fill in my eyebrows. Comb them through with the spoolie. And then I'm going to go in again with my ABH Clear Brow Gel and set my brows into place. And then with my BH Cosmetics 3rd Edition 120 Color Palette and the first stack, which looks like this. And then with a fluffy crease brush, I'm going to use this pinky shade right here and apply it on my crease. I'm going to apply this to my crease and just blend it out. And then with this shade right here, I'm going to blend this pinky shade out. I'm still using the same fluffy crease brush, I'm just buffing that pink shade out diffusing it a bit more and then I'm going to go in with this pinky shade right here and just put it in my crease and deepen my crease a little bit more this is with another clean crease brush and I'm just going to deepen out this pink right here and then just buff it out then I'm going to go in with this warm tone brown and again with the same crease brush and I'm going to place it right here Next, I'm going to grab my Chi Chi Rich Gems palette, and I'm going to use this shade right here. It's a pink with specks of gold in it, and I'm going to apply it on my lid. Now to apply, I'm going to use this flat synthetic brush and spritz it with some glycerin and rose water, and I'm just going to apply it on my lid. Woo! Kinda looks like my highlight, actually. And then to make this look a little bit more monochromatic, I'm going to go in with the blush I used. This is the MAC Peaches blush. And with my crease blush and just buff out this shade on my lid. I'm 
I'm going to go in again with the shade on my lid and just pack it on a little bit more and buff it out with the crease brush by Smashbox. Now with my e.l.f. defining eye brush, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is kind of like a warm brown, and just define my crease a little bit more, make it a little bit more deep. And I'm just using the very, very tip of the brush and just applying it right here. And again with my fluffy crease brush, just buff it out. Then again with MAC Peaches and a little shader brush, I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line. With an angled brush and this warm brown shade, I'm going to really get close to my lash line and just smudge it in there a little bit on the outer corner. And then buff this out again. And then to open up my eyes, I'm going to use a white eyeliner. This is a Kajal eyeliner. I'm just going to put in my waterline, my bottom waterline. I'm going to grab my brush again and then just smoke out that liner. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and put a little bit of mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. And I'm just going to apply it on my top and bottom lashes. Next for lashes, I'm going to use the Salem Perfect Demi Voice Beast Lashes and I'm going to apply them with the Duo Brush Hunt Adhesive and this is latex free. It looks like this, well it looks like this, and these lashes. Last but not least, I'm going to go in with my NYX Lip Lingerie Liquid Lipstick and it's in the shade 03 Lace Detail and then I'm going to go in with the Patty Du Bruff Gloss in the shade Nude Glow. And now I'm going to go in with my gloss. And this is the finished look guys, thank you so much for watching if you're still here with me. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos and like it, give it a thumbs up if you do like it. And subscribe to my channel for more, I'm almost at my goal of 200 this month. And I would really love if you subscribe to my channel and hit that subscribe button. Yeah, subscribe for more videos. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys so much. Bye! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another video for you guys and this time it is my February favorites and I can't believe February is already over. It went by so quickly. We're basically at the end of winter. Maybe we still get a few cold days here in Mexico. It's really really warm. So that's probably over. <laughs> but it's the beginning of spring and I'm so excited